So as we all know, Indiana Jones has absolutely flopped at the box office and the movie might not even come close to breaking even, let alone making a profit, which may end up resulting in Disney over the course of their last nine movies losing over a billion dollars in box office revenue. But to make things even crazier and worse for Disney and Indiana Jones 5, the actress Karen Allen, who played Indiana Jones' wife Marion over the course of the Indiana Jones franchise, has come out and slammed the director James Mangold and slammed Disney as a whole for minimizing her character's role in Indiana Jones 5. She said that she was thoroughly disappointed with her role in Indiana Jones 5 and said that originally she was meant to have a much bigger role and play a much bigger part in the movie, but they shrunk her character and made her basically non-existent until the last five minutes of the movie. But before we continue on with the video, I do want to ask you guys to go and follow me on Instagram because I want to get more active with you guys on there and I think that's a more personal way to do it, where you can shoot me DMs, I can answer back, you can give me ideas for videos, I can do Instagram lives. So if you do want to go follow me on Instagram, go follow me at Jesse Grant on Instagram. But let's get back to the video. So I actually think that Karen Allen has a huge point with her comments here. Because when you watch Indiana Jones 5, it lacks a certain sense of groundedness. The movie doesn't seem grounded or rooted in any sort of reality. There's no emotional strings they're really pulling at. And I think if her character had a bigger role, the movie would have been a much better film. Because the reason this movie hasn't succeeded at the box office is because fans were really unhappy with the fact that they focus more on Helena Shaw than Indiana Jones' character and the whole Indiana Jones world that they had built up until that point. The movie seems like it's a far cry from what Indiana Jones once was because they're focusing more on Helena Shaw played by Phoebe Waller-Bridge and making her more of the star of the film when it really should have been a film that was completely focused on Indiana Jones Jones and wrapping up his story, they seemed to focus more on Helena Shaw and it just made the film a lot worse and fans were really unhappy with that and that's why the movie hasn't succeeded both with critics and at the box office. And I think the original idea and concept for this film was to pay more tribute to Indiana Jones and focus more on his relationship with Marion, but I think the fact that they went and changed it and cut Marion out of the whole script until the final five minutes really makes you think that they had a bit of an agenda with this movie. Because when you watch the film, it really does come across as Helena's movie. And when the original concept of the film was to focus more on Indiana Jones and Marion, and then all of a sudden they change it to focus on Helena Shaw, it makes you question the intention of this film. Was it meant to be there to wrap up Indiana Jones' story and give one last final adventure for Indiana Jones? Or was it there to launch Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Helena Shaw's profile so they can do a spin-off Disney Plus series and try and make more money off that? Because when you watch the film, it really does come across as a bait and switch. And when you find out that the original idea was to focus more on Marion and more on Indiana Jones, you really see that they made a last minute decision to use the final movie of Indiana Jones to focus on Helena Shaw to try and boost her profile and try and make more money off a spin-off series. You can see that they did use it as advertisement and that they didn't go into this movie with great intentions. And look, there's no problem with a great great female lead and having a female-led action film. There are countless movies that I can list as an example of great movies with a great female lead. Like Kill Bill, for example. That's a really good female-led action film. But where the problem lies is when they're using Indiana Jones to push a younger female character. She can have her own movie. Use the final Indiana Jones movie to pay tribute to Indiana Jones, to wrap up the Indiana Jones saga and send him off on a really great film because that's what the character of Indiana Jones deserves and that's definitely what Harrison Ford deserves as well for his legacy. They should have used that whole movie to try and close his chapter on Indiana Jones in a really good way and just end the franchise on a good note following up from a really disappointing fourth movie. Because I think if the story did focus more on Indiana Jones and Marion's relationship, the film would have been a lot more heartfelt. It would have come across as a lot more grounded. You would have felt a lot more empathy towards the movie and the movie overall would have just been a much better film and that would have been a great way to send off Indiana Jones in his fifth and final film. Because after such a turbulent life for Indiana Jones, it would have been a really cool story to see him and Marion find peace in their relationship and through old age, rekindle their love and come even closer than they've ever been before and really grow together and in the back end of their life, really come close and find a sense of peace, calm and mindfulness. That would
would have been a great film and people would have definitely been down to see that. Of course, you would have one final great adventure, but if running through that adventure as a bit of a through line and as a bit of subtext to the movie, you would have Marion's relationship with Indiana Jones grow stronger, grow more fond, and then rekindle their love after a few turbulent years, it would have been such a heartfelt movie. And if you ended the film the way they ended Indiana Jones 5, with Indiana Jones and Marion coming together and growing their love again, but you had the whole film building up to that point instead of just slotting it in at the end, which was kind of weird, if you had the whole movie build up to that point, Marion was involved the whole adventure through the whole movie, you saw they had their struggles, but you saw them working closer together, and then at the end you get the final product of them finding peace in their relationship, it would have been amazing, and you would have seen how they wrapped up Indiana Jones, and you would know, okay, for the remainder of his years, he will just live a peaceful life with Marion, they've come to a close, he's find an inner peace within himself, it would have been great, everyone would have loved that story, and that's the way it should have ended, and I think that's the way they wanted it to end in the beginning, but then someone must have got in the director's ear and told him to change the course of the story to focus more on Helen Ashore, and I wonder who that might have been, someone probably profiting off the fact that they'll do a Disney Plus series spin-off with Helen Ashore, so I wonder who that is, I think I know, I'm not going to mention it, you guys let me know who you think it is down below in the comments as well. And getting back to Karen Allen's statements, I do think it's kind of rude to wrap up her whole role in Indiana Jones with a five minute bit at the end, sort of like a weird cameo if you will. I mean it felt really sad because she played such a pivotal role in the Indiana Jones franchise. Her character is incredible and her character has her own fans in her own right, so she definitely deserved a way better send off. And I think with her coming in that last five minutes, it just comes across as something where they were like, oh, we have to slot her in at some point. Let's just give her the final five minutes of the movie. It just felt disrespectful. For all the work, for all the time, for all the years that Karen put into Indiana Jones, into her character of Marion, she deserved a much better send-off. And to be honest, Harrison Ford himself deserved a much better send-off, but at least he was in the movie throughout. At least he was actually in there for the action sequences and he went on that final journey. If they had Marion there, it would have been a lot more respectful and I think they just really did her wrong in this film. Because like I said, this is the final movie in the Indiana Jones franchise. They should have focused entirely on Indiana Jones and Marion. To focus the whole movie on some young, arrogant woman, I mean, you could have just given her her own spin-off later on. You didn't have to use the final Indiana Jones movie to market that character. If that character is good enough, she's going to develop her own fans if you do a spin-off series on Disney+. Plus, You shouldn't have had her as a focal point in the movie. You could have marketed her really well, giving her a little 10 to 15 minute bit in this film, but if the whole film was focused on Indiana Jones and Marion, it definitely would have done a lot better. And I think there's a good example of this when you look at the Avengers and you look at how Spider-Man came into the MCU. He had his 10 to 15 minute bit and it was a cool scene and that really marketed Tom Holland's Spider-Man so when the first Spider-Man movie came out, people were hyped for it. They could have done the same thing with Helena Shaw, given her a really cool 15 minutes where you really want to know more about this character and then announce that she's getting a spin-off series. That would have gone really well. But they just really did Karen Allen wrong with this film by not focusing on her and Indy's relationship. But let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.